Okay, so Kenny and I wanted to talk a little bit about something that we did um, that we we did because we thought they needed it, and then I really enjoyed just, that. One. Um, I really liked it, and I, I, I really thought, liked doing that one. It just keeps coming back and back and back, and so this is something we want to do. So what we're talking about is. Um, in December, we did um, uh, the basics of SEO for uh, BC food and beverage. Uh, that's right. uh, Elisa Hutton and her group and, and Sumner, and they were wonderful and the group was great. But we had a really great conversation about SEO and how, um, how to find some organic growth by doing some basics in SEO. And Kenny and I love this topic, one, because all of this sounds super, all, it always sounds like super fancy, but in fact, there's some fundamental things you have to do. Um, and then if you do them, they kind of like pay back dividends in many, many ways. And in the spirit of all of the things that are happening around us and the cost cutting and you know everyone's trying to shave out of budgets, we thought maybe being able to show you how to get some organic growth would be a good idea. I liked it. Because right, out of the two of us, two of us, you're the one that all, you know, all this stuff. Like when I actually can understand it and I can see like, like I'm doing what, we're, what we told other people to do and we, we are seeing the results. Yeah. Like I'm, I like this, like to yeah. me, this is one of the most fun I've had in any of these sort of webinar little thingies we've done. I like this one. You know, I like the chart you're going to show. My students are listening. Kenny just said that he had fun learning SEO from me. So <laughs> I, I did. What, they don't like you? I don't know. I'm just saying Oh, I enjoyed it. Because it, it was simple. Teachers fun. worry when when uh when you teach things. Anyway. But you know let's... what it was though? The mm -hmm. thing is this is the problem with the whole topic, as always. Everybody says the same thing. Oh, it's easy. They just go do this, you go do that, you go do this. I don't understand. What do you always tell me to do? Yeah. Like this is the first time where I sat down and said, okay. Once you take out all this bullshit, there's only a couple of things to really focus on. And they'll see it in a second. And yeah. that's what you do. Yeah. Do that well, the other stuff will come. And then if you have time and then you can start playing harder, you get yeah. better results. But at minimum, you're going to get really good results at yeah. minimum. Yeah. 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 And I think to us, like it, it is like there, you'll see it in a sec, but there are some things that are um, important. And then there's some things that are critical, but um they are they're pretty fundamental to your business if you get them right um you know it it, re it really does pay dividends um in many many ways right and then and then it'll help you you know kind of grow the business without having actually having to spend dollars on it um you'll have to spend some time time is always a thing but but don't spend um, a lot of time but you have to dedicate time and yeah. i know we're, I, I told you i think before we we thought we were going to do this one is it it's going to be the same one what our time during the day i don't i know I, I get it we all get it but you need to carve out like a yeah. 15 minutes mm -hmm. even at night or somewhere over you have a glass of wine and just watch the idiot box for a second yeah. and just take some notes that's really about as complicated as this yeah. gets yeah so, right? so let's, show, let's show you the chart and then yeah. um hopefully we can keep this as a, a fast thought but um but the chart that I've got in front of you is kind of Ooh. this overwhelming SEO, holy crap chart. Uh, but it's the one I always show. It's always this complicated. Yeah, and it's always this complicated. So there's lots of things, right? And SEO is search engine optimization. This is the process by which you want to get your stuff found um, on Google so that when consumers are searching for a problem that you have an answer for, you get found. Um, and so what we kind of say when we show you this wheel is um, everything is critical here, but there are only really two things that are, are they're, they're, you know, there are only two things that are really important. Um, so we circle the things that you should do, and then we star the things um, because those are why you would do them. Right. And so like keyword research at the top here. So we've circled keyword research and keywords um are are like it sounds simple but no one ever knows what to do with the list they have um so keywords are the words that consumers would use to find you so if they have a problem um they'll be searching for um you know the words that they would use to find um solutions to the problem but if you right? were so if you were but if you weren't like most of us don't have unique products or offerings yeah so most of these keywords like are established are they not like 
yep. if you're looking for an accountant, you don't type in plumber. Correct. Right. So, so they're like, and I lost very simplistic. I get it. Yeah. But that's how it works, right? So if you're doing a granola, you cereal might be too high. You'd have to maybe yeah. do granola or gluten free yeah. or that type of thing. That's what yeah. it means, right? That's correct, right? And and then what, um, what you want to do, like that's and and like sometimes um, this part is simple and yet so simple that people think that there's a secret to it, and it isn't. Is if you're a granola, then you stick to the words that you need for granola, and then you find some words that might be unique to you. So I don't know if you're, um, you know, like if you have different flavors with your products. Maybe so, you're nut free you know, or allergen free or gluten free yeah. or yeah. you're all natural or raisin or free. Yeah, correct. Right. And right. so once you once you've got a list of keywords, what you want to do is um keywords and contents are are tied together, right? Is um the hard and simple part of content is don't change your keywords. Um, because a lot of times we get super fancy, we get in our own heads and we think about like, oh, well, I'm a granola company. So therefore I'm into lifestyles and I'm going to help you be, I'm going to help gonna you take feel and we're going to make yeah. this and we're going to do yeah. that with the problem. No. Yeah. But, but then what winds up happening in those situations is you forget to actually use the word. Um, right. so you use every other word besides the word that you really need to be known for, which is granola. And so in this case, when you write content, you're going to start with your keywords um, and then you're going to build your content around your keywords. So you never, that's probably the, the most critical basic thing to have is your keywords and your content are always tied together. You never use a substitute word for the keyword that you're, you want to be known for. Um, so Kenny and I would never say we are an audio format um, that you listen to, we would say we are a podcast. That's what we yeah, are. Or, or you come out to, you know what we are, Phil? We're really the replacement to radio. Yeah. In the old days, yeah. the mediums to yeah. listen to people be radio. In today's world, we use computers <laughs> and we do things that way. And we go on YouTube and not once did you say podcast. Yeah, that's Which correct. is all you're trying to be found by, podcast. Yeah. So, so critically important to make sure these are tied together. When you start doing that and you start putting out content, blogs, um, stuff on your website that has your keywords contained inside your content, what you will start to see is that your website optimization will go up, right? Is that people are clearer about what you are. Google and the Google index um, for a search engine will be clearer because now you're saying I am a podcast or I am, I, uh, I whatever you are. sell granola, whatever you are, you're going to say it multiple times on the website and the Google spires will go, oh, we know what they should be known for. Let's rank them for that word, right? Um, and then that's what happens is your ranking goes up, right? And then you start, and then everything else around this, right? Like traffic, um, your link building, uh, web design, all of that stuff starts to flow together if you do keyword and content. Um, right. and, then, and then the other thing is then, once you're clear on those, when you start to do social media, your social media gets clearer because you know the words you're using. Right. You know, the emotion and don't deviate because yeah. they're going right. to find you most likely on Google or something like um, yeah. an Amazon or whatever you're yeah. searching. So if they can't find you there, they're not going to find you in social because nobody right. goes to Instagram and starts searching for granola. That's right. You bang into it or the algorithm because you look at granolas will do that. But you got to build that base. The foundation is really the critical part. So, so this is the fastest thought that we have around um, how to kind of do organic content or organic growth on SEO. Um, if you want to actually watch the whole thing, it's in um, the link will appear here somewhere. I'll figure it out, but the link will pop up here. And then this is the uh, this is the version that we actually did for. Um, is that course still uh, available? Uh, yeah. So for BC food and Bev, we have the recording for it. So oh. you'll be able to, you'll be able to watch that. And, um, you know, so thank you to BC, um, food and Bev for, for allowing thanks, Lisa, to show thanks, that. Sumner. Um, and thanks to Lisa and Sumner and, and go see those guys. If you, if you want more value, um, anyway, yes. if you like this, uh, like, and subscribe, um, tell us what you think, um, give us, um, any insights you have. We and, do use this by the way, like we use this for our brand, like, so it's do. not one of those. 
you know, bullshit stories. We, act, we, we practice what we preach on this one. I don't do on much other things, but this one, I actually practice what I preach. Yeah. Yeah. And we actually, we're seeing organic results, which is really yeah, cool. totally. Yeah. Cool. Okay. That's it. Thanks guys. Thanks for listening.